वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई बैक विद यू वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लाइट सिमरेटर ट्वेंटी फोर इन दिस वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द ग्राफिक सेटिंग्स दैट आई एम यूजिंग टू गेट द ऑप्टिमम फ्रेम्स फॉर सेकेंड रेड फॉर द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लाइट सिमरेटर दिस वीडियो इज फॉर ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली यूजिंग द इन वीडियोज आर टी एक्स फोर्टी सीरीज ग्राफिक कार्ड्स विच हैज द केपेबिलिटी ऑफ डी एल एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन बिकॉज इट बूस्ट द फ्रेम्स पर सेकेंड राइट नाउ आई एम गेटिंग anti aliasing is off it actually smooths um the frames as you can see you know it's not really smooth when i'm moving the camera it's not really smooth so if i turn on the anti aliasing it should improve and uh, right now you can see i'm using 34 35 frames per second you might get better frames per second because right now i'm using the obs studio to capture the screen which has an impact on the gpu and it drops my frames per second but you might get better frames per second um unfortunately the voice recording uh, for the nvidia screen capture is not working i don't know why due to some reasons i have been trying it a lot so that's why i have to just go back to obs uh, for the uh, screen capture so let's uh, go and have a look at the settings i'll just uh, take you to the settings right now you can see anti aliasing is off and plus nvidia dlss frame generation is also off if i turn it on um will there be any impact so the frames per second have gone up to 47 frames per second but still you can see it's not smooth although you're getting some good frames per second now 45 if it's stable even it goes up to 54 so if you are stationary on the runway you can just have a good look but when you're moving the camera no it's good now 62 so it has now gone up to 61 great so it's increasing so even like this you can have some great frames per second now if i go to the settings again and if i turn on the anti aliasing as well now let's wait for the frames per second to increase right now actually i'm using uh, this option taa this is the one that i used to use for the microsoft flight simulator 2020 as well because if you're using the nvidia dlss super resolution it actually is not uh, that good it actually creates trail especially when the numbers are changing or when you moving your camera there is a trail uh, which i will just show you right now so right now i'm just going with the ta and let's see if uh, we get the good frames per second actually in the microsoft flight 200 2024 i was not really getting some good frames per rate for this setting but now you can see it's smooth uh the jerk has gone and so you know it's really good so always keep uh, the anti aliasing on never turn it off and, and uh, plus uh, just keep this uh, dlss frame generation on now if i go to the nvidia dlss super resolution and if i just concentrate on the quality then let's see what happens my frames per second now it's smoother uh frames per second have also gone up to 60 but over here the problem is this uh, now as i'm not changing the numbers because you know i just wanted to be at a static position because uh, obviously uh i'm using the ultra settings for the graphics and i want to keep uh, the ground element same and all the things in the frame same so that we can see that what impact it has now with this i get right round about it's even going up to 70 frames per second so the frames per second are really good but this is the issue with this setting i'll just show you if i change the numbers you can see this trail coming so this is something not really good and especially when you will take off you will also see trails over here so i don't use this setting anymore so what i do is this i go to the settings and i select amd FSR 2. This is right now giving me some good frames per second and uh, some good uh, the quality during the flight. And I keep the Nvidia DLSS frame generation on. Now even in this setting, I get good frames per second, but uh, all the numbers and everything on the screen they get really crisp. I'll just show you right now. So if I change it, you can see. that trailing thing has gone 
and now you know the numbers are more crisp and it varies um uh, with the planes different planes uh, this dlss thing works differently now you can see my frames per second are even going up to 74 frames per second 71 it just went up to 74 uh 70 71 frames per second so right now um uh, the main purpose of this video was to keep it really simple because you know now there are many people who are not really uh very familiar with all the terminologies or with all the settings with everything so that's why i didn't want to go into the complex stuff because i've been trying it a lot for the microsoft flight simulator 20 as well in 24 and trust me um no matter what you do it always remains the same So um just uh, before I finish this video uh, just remember this thing that if uh, you want to go with this uh, Nvidia DLSS super resolution then you have to you know uh, face this trailing thing and I've seen it in Cessna 172 it's uh, it's very bad so if you want crisp and sharper image go with the AMD FSR2 and uh, go with the quality and uh, you can also go for the ultra performance performance or you can even go with the balanced uh, even with the balanced Let's see what happens because then it will keep on changing uh, depending upon the GPU and the CPU utilization. So it will keep on switching between performance and quality. So this is also a best mix where your frames per second are not compromised and you get a smooth movement. Right now you can see I'm getting 63, 62 uh, frames per second. You might get better frames per second. At times I get some trails, but it's okay. So if I want to have a smoother version, then I what what I can do is this: I can go with the quality, and that's it. So that's what I do, and uh, you can also try different graphic settings. But I think this will really work for you. Uh, everything gets really crisp, and you get one of the best frames per second rate uh, for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. So I hope uh, this was a useful video for you. And if you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.